So in this video, we'll look at the topic of implicit differentiations. And uh, usually, when you're asked to find the derivative, uh, you're given the function f of x, right? And uh, in this case of implicit differentiation, uh, it usually means that you probably are not given the expression um, of the function f of x. So um, it essentially means we don't have expression y equals f of x. So um, we can't find y prime directly. And um, what does it mean? For example, let's look at the current example. You have an expression um, as an equation that involves two variables, uh, y and x. But unfortunately, sometimes in this kind of equation, uh, it takes a lot of time, if not impossible, to write y as an expression of x. So let me put it here. It's not easy to write y as function of x. It's just not that easy in this case. So what can we do about it if I'm asking you to find y prime? Find y prime here. Usually my advice, or you can say is a hint, is that you can differentiate both sides. And what does it mean by differentiating both sides? And um, I would like to emphasize the differentiation is for the variable x with respect to x. And the right-hand side is clear. Because the right-hand side, you have only a constant 1. Differentiating 1, you'll get 0. How about the left side? Uh, let's think about how you get the derivative out. You see, the first term is y cube. y cube, it looks like you can apply a power rule, right? Power rule for y cube is 3y squared. However, uh, please think about it for a moment. If you do the derivative y cube, as a differentiation with respect to y. y cubed is going to be 3y squared. So uh, I would like to emphasize this fact. y cubed becomes 3y squared as a differentiation with respect to y. However, in this case, we are doing differentiation with respect to x. So there's a change of variable involved. I hope you get my point, right? I mean, um, it's clearly a chain rule application. Because uh, if you're looking at y cube, you want to differentiate with respect to x. Um, you write down 3y cube. I think one term is missing because um, you are not doing differentiation with respect to y from the beginning. This one is just the derivative with respect to y. So you have to multiply to a chain rule term because you are using a variable y to represent that. And the next term is going to be dy dx. It's like a chain rule application, so it's something you have to think about. Or the other way to put it by using a formal mathematical notation, now we have to differentiate y cube with respect to dx. So I can use the ddx um, notation here. So it's going to be ddy because I'm doing derivative uh, as a function of y first for the y cube. So as a chain rule application, it needs to be multiplied to the next term, which is dy dx. So um, that's basically what I meant by this. 3y squared times dy dx. So uh, if you understand it, it's good. Let's come back to the uh, top, the first line. So we have to multiply 3y squared by dy dx. I can use y prime to represent that if there's no ambiguity. And OK, so let's go back to the top. Please come back to the top here. Uh, we have to differentiate the second term now. You see, it's a product of two things. So it's a product rule, right? By product rule, I can, it's kind of like u prime v plus u v prime as a product rule. So u prime is 1. And uh, the v stays in, which is 1 square plus, and u is x. And uh, v prime is what? Let's think about it. v prime is the derivative of y cube. I'm sorry, y square has a derivative with respect to variable x. And y squared becomes 2y if you're doing differentiation with respect to variable y. That's the answer. But because we are differentiating it with respect to x, we have to multiply to a new term y prime, same as what I've done for the first term. 
you see uh, it's basically done at least for the first step. The second step is that I can write it in a slightly better way. And please look at the current equation now. Uh, the end, I would like to get a final answer y prime equals something. So you can group the similar term together. Uh, both terms, the term 1 and term 3, both have the y prime. So I can group them together. Common factor mathematically is just the same as y prime. And the things inside the bracket is 3y squared minus 2xy, right? And minus y squared, which is the middle term without the y prime. So uh, now the last step is really a manipulation of the algebra and I write y prime as y squared because I can move the minus y squared term to the right hand side. And also I can divide it by the factor attached to y prime, which is uh, 3y squared minus 2xy. So that's the final answer to this problem. So please look at the problem given here. It is once again an implicit uh, differentiation problem because you're not given the expression for y equals something as a function of x, right? And um, let's differentiate both left and left and right. Let's differentiate both left and right with respect to x. So uh, the right hand side is clear, which is zero. So we can write it down later. Let's deal with the first problem, I mean first term. And for the first term, we can use the product rule. So uh, derivative of x squared is 2x times v, which is y cubed, plus u, which is x squared. And this term is going to be v prime, which is derivative of uh, y cubed. y cubed becomes 3y squared multiplied to y prime. Same as what we have done in the last problem. Uh, it's an application of chain rule. And this is the first term. Then let's look at the second term. Once again, it's an application of the product rule. x becomes 1 times cosine y plus x times uh, the derivative of cosine y with respect to x. So uh, cosine y becomes minus sine y as a derivative with respect to y. But in that case, you need to multiply to y prime, right? Because once again, it's an application of chain rule. So uh, the left hand side is equal to right hand side, which is 0. And now uh, there are four terms all together on the left hand side. We can group the term that contains y prime together, which is this and this. So um, I think y prime. So the first term is going to be 3 square y square for this. And um, for this, please look at the minus sign here. And also there's a minus sign, so it becomes plus x times sine y. And uh, the remaining two terms don't have the y prime, so I can group them together as 2xy cubed. Please check this. 2xy cubed minus cosine y. So the final answer for y prime is I can move this, uh, this whole thing to the right hand side. divided by the multiplication factor attached to y prime. So it is the final answer to this uh, problem of implicit differentiation.